Hi, and welcome to the third and final week of how to train your dog to wear a muzzle. So you'll notice I have gauze on my muzzle this time because my strap broke since we were practicing so much, but it still works the same. Last week, we taught you how to get your dog comfortable wearing a muzzle and having the strap just go around the back of their head. This week, we're actually going to snap the muzzle and have it completely closed and ready. So we're going to do a little warm up, same as before, getting Chili to put his nose in the muzzle. And obviously he's very comfortable with that. Then we're gonna feed it through and put it around and continue nope. feeding it through. If he puts his foot up on it like that, that's fine. Don't panic about it, it's not the end of the world, but ideally he won't be doing that. Good boy. So if your dog does continually put their foot up on it and wanna pull it off, Make sure you have a lot of food ready in your other hand to feed through the muzzle. That's how you're gonna stop them from thinking about pulling it off and just thinking about eating the food through the muzzle. So now that Chili's comfortable with this and he seems pretty comfortable with it around the back of his head, I have adjusted this muzzle to the size of his head. You can start loose if you want and then adjust it later as he gets more comfortable. So this time I'm gonna snap it closed. I'm gonna have lots of treats ready in one hand and get him prepared by shoving some treats through the muzzle. And this just gets him focused on eating and less on what's happening around the back of his head. So I'm gonna squeeze one through, clip the muzzle together, hold on to it and continually feed them through. So I'm not giving him a chance to think about the fact that the muzzle's on his face. This is a really, really great start. He's doing really good. This is the longest I've ever had him in this muzzle. And he's not even thinking about the muzzle, he's just thinking about the treats. And as soon as he's done, before he can get to the point where he's panicking about having the muzzle on his face, so if you're running out of treats, take it off right away. Then I take it off and I reward him for wearing it. Good boy. You wanna repeat this over and over and over again with longer stretches of time with him wearing the muzzle. The key is to start small and build up from there. Eventually, your dog will wear a muzzle and not even think about having it on. And there you have it. Three simple steps to teach your dog to wear a muzzle comfortably. A lot of people were asking, how long can my dog wear a muzzle? And other people were asking, is it cruel for a dog to wear a muzzle? The answer kind of goes hand in hand for both. Your dog should not be wearing a muzzle all day and should never be wearing a muzzle unattended. So never leave your dog alone with the muzzle on. However, if you're going to the vet's office or say you're going for a couple hours on an outing and your dog is reactive with new people or new dogs and you're afraid that he might bite, you can leave the muzzle on while you're out and about for a few hours. It only becomes cruel when you're leaving your dog in the muzzle for too long or when you're leaving them without anybody watching them. The most important thing is to make sure you are getting the correct type of muzzle. If your muzzle holds your dog's mouth shut and they cannot open their mouth, they can't pant, they can't drink water and they can't eat through the muzzle, your muzzle should not be left on for more than a few minutes at a time. However, if your dog can open their mouth and breathe normally, if they're able to lap water through the muzzle, and if you can feed them properly through the muzzle, you can leave it on for a few hours without any problems. My favorite basket type muzzle is from the brand called Baskerville, and these are available on Amazon. If you have any questions about this process, or if you've struggled with some part or another with your dog, make sure to put it in the comments below and I'll answer it as soon as I can. Just sit, yes, sit up. Yes, good boy. All right, can you go down? Good boy. Ready? Chili, roll. Good boy. All right. Shake. Good boy. Tell us in the comments what you want to teach your dog next.